Good Monday morning. It's March 1st, 2021. First, an overview of what happened with the stock markets last month. Stock, the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 were slightly up for the month of February. On the other hand, the tech-dominated NASDAQ index was slightly down for the entire month of February, the short month of February. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last, which you can find at GuyMcPherson.com. Today's headlines go back to Friday afternoon up through this morning. We'll call this one Bookends with Buffett. First headline indicates from Yahoo Finance, Warren Buffett's favorite stock market indicator still screams sell. So... Still on that sell note, a couple of others from Friday after the close. The Washington Post, phenomenal temperature swing brings taste of spring to central U.S. That's right. This from the lead. Last week began with a historic Arctic outbreak that brought the most frigid air in decades, overwhelming Texas's power grid and plastering the south with snow and ice. As this week ends, most of the lower 48 has seen a surge of warmth and suddenly... Spring is in the air. Tom Skilling, chief meteorologist for Chicago's WGN television affiliate, says, quote, a phenomenal weather shift, and he called it stunning as well. From The Motley Fool, on Saturday, three reasons the stock market could crash in the next three months. Somebody's not thinking of all the reasons the stock market could crash in the next three months, but they're willing to point out at least three. From Yahoo Finance, Bank of America issues warning about potential stock market bubble. That seems to be all the rage. Also from Saturday, new climate pledges far short of meeting Paris Agreement goals, UN warns, and most notably that's UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, and that's at CNN. And finally, perhaps finally, Probably finally. We'll see if it's finally. From Bloomberg, Buffett's tone-deaf annual letter skirts major controversies. Apparently the old guy doesn't want to potentially lose a few billion of his billions, so he has become silent on the pandemic, on racial inequality. He's unwilling to talk about things in the political realm, as he's done for pretty much his entire professional life. And how are we looking today? Well, the NASDAQ finished last week down about 5%. It's worth showing since October. And today, looks like the NASDAQ is going to get all of that back, or at least go a long way towards getting it back. <clears throat> the Dow is up 420 at the open. NASDAQ is up two, two, about 230, and the S&P 500 is up 60 points as well. So, shooting for the moon never ends until it does.